Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today I'm going to show you three or four apps, four apps I think, that I think are, uh, that I personally would highly recommend to stick in your audio toolbox. Now these apps aren't like delays, choruses, blah, 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 then don't modulate anything or they don't, they don't do anything that you would really immediately notice. Okay, that's the important thing. These are kind of uh, they'll, they're fixes if you like or uh, they'll enhance stuff or stuff like that you know or they'll make things just better for your mix so I would re highly recommend you have these and they really are kind of essential if you're doing anything with with audio in the iPad and, 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 and one of these has only just come out and it's been wanted for ages that was transient FAC transient uh, so we'll get onto that in a sec but the first one I want to look at is uh, Bruce Free uh, by Clev Grant. Bruce Free is a noise reducer. So I'm going to quickly dive in. I'm going to show you how to use it exactly the right way, okay? Because the first time I did it, I did it wrong. But um, I'm going to quickly play a little bit, of, a snippet of this thing that I recorded. It's my voice, with, but it's got a lot of high-end hiss on it. So we'll just play that and then I'll fix it with Bruce Free. Bruce Free. Bruce Free is a highly advanced audio noise reducer packed into a simple and straightforward interface. It is well suited for cleaning up noisy audio recordings whilst retaining sound quality. Unlike many other noise reducers on the market, Bruce Free doesn't mess with audio phasing to suppress noise, a technique that often comes with audible side effects. Instead, Multiple fine-tuned gates are used to silence unwanted noise. Bruce Free can always be used. Could, <laughs> I knew I'd mess it up. So there you go. That was I recorded that yesterday to demonstrate Bruce Free. So what we do with Bruce Free is we find a small section of audio that has the hiss in the unwanted noise. So if it was a guitar amp, you know, that zzz, or electric hum kind of thing, it removes all that kind of thing. But you don't want to be putting it over the part where the music is playing or anything like that. You find a section, a quiet section, where the, the noise is that you want to get rid of. Okay? So if I open up insert effects here, you'll see that I have Bruce Free. And if we switch on an edit, go to edit, you'll probably never need to use the attack threshold release or the edge or the high the filter section. Okay, just you probably just won't need to do it. Now to use Bruce Free properly, all you do is start to play the section of audio that you want to remove the noise of sort of thing. So we'll do this, and then what you do is you just hold the line for a few seconds, and it only takes a few seconds. So here we go. Electrical. Right, and it's done. That's it. So if we go back to the beginning now of that file... Let's hear what Bruce Free has done to it, okay? So here it is again. Bruce Free. Bruce Free is a highly advanced audio noise reducer. Packed into a simple and straightforward interface. Instead, multiple fine-tuned gates are used to silence unwanted noise. Bruce Free can always be used... Could, I knew I'd mess it up. Bruce Free can also be used as an AUV3 plugin in compatible hosts. For example, GarageBand. Bruce Free means noise free in Swedish. Here are some examples of sound conditions that Bruce Free handles well guitar amp, noisy vintage gear, boosted preamp, iPhone, iPad, and external mic hiss room reverb removal, fan noise, background ambience, mains hum, electric hum. Now, that, I mean, to me, that is spectacularly good. And like I said, it works with your guitar amps, any noise like that. Now, you might have seen the Bruce Free is quite the, quite the juicy on the CPU. So what I would suggest you do, that when you're happy with that particular mix, just freeze it like this. And let it wait while it freezes the track. Let's talk amongst ourselves. Next thing I'm going to show you is FAC Transient. Then I'm going to show you FAC Maxima. Then I'm going to show you DDMF 6144EQ. 
these things are incredibly good and they are mind-bogglingly useful for all kinds of stuff. Like you can see already how useful Bruce Free would be, right? Okay, we're nearly there now. Okay, so when I would go then to this track here where my Bruce original Bruce Free was, I could then close it out completely. And also, basically, I don't need that at all now. So we can just delete that track and I'm left with my... Bruce Free. Okay, so that's it. So you see what Bruce Free does, all right? Now the next one, moving on, moving swiftly on. I'm going to mute this now. Um, actually, I'll just solo that one. Right, so this is going to show you a little bit of transient. And transient at the moment is switched off. Okay, but if we sh if we look at transient, you'll see that it's on initial. Now at the moment, I think there's a slight bug with it in Cubase's. So instead of using the uh, this preset browser, okay, use the built-in preset browser. Cubase is a built-in preset browser. That's it. That's all. Okay, so here we go. So at the moment, it's on initial, so you shouldn't hear any anything really. Just turn it up in the mix of a little bit. So it's just a loop that was recorded in Gadget. And I'm gonna switch on uh, transient. can take some of the sustain up there bring in back in some of that um the ringing so you can see what fac does okay now between the two now, if you were using that as background music, it would be pretty cool because you'd have quite the controlled environment for uh, uh, over like music that sits beneath a track that's got uh, voices in sort of thing. Bruce Free is a highly advanced audio noise reducer packed into a simple and straightforward interface. It is well suited for cleaning up noisy audio recordings whilst retaining sound quality. Unlike many other noise reducers on the market, Bruce Free doesn't mess. So that's what you want for that kind of thing, right? So basically you've Bruce started Free to already tighten everything right up there. So the third one I want to show you is Maxima by Fred Anton Corvest again. Okay, so these will work in conjunction with each other. I'm just giving you a brief overview. Maxima will boost the volume of your track, basically. So let's give it some normal volume. And let's put Maxima on.
Now, I can't tell you the amount of times I've used Max. And all you've watched any of my videos in, on if we, I'm using AUM for boosting synths or anything like that. Maxima is incredible. Drop it in a chain, turn it up a titchy bit, and there it is. It sits, it sits in the mix. Of course, then if you can start to use, like, for instance, I'll show you the third effect that I want to show you now, which is... Um, let me just switch that off a sec. I'll show you. It's another audio unit. These are all audio unit V3s as well. This is DDMF 6140-40Q. This is a beautiful thing. It's a very, very transparent EQ, and it's, it's really hard to make this sound bad um, under normal circumstances. So if we, like, let's just do this. Let's, so we've got some sort of looping system going. Let's make sure it's right. Um... I'll just switch loop on as well. It is, and we can go from there and I'll play. Okay, so. Very nice. I'll switch Maxima on. Bruce Free can also Bruce Free is a highly advanced audio noise reducer. Instead, multiple fine-tuned gates are used to silence unwanted noise. Bruce Free can always be used. Can, <laughs> I knew I'd mess it up. Bruce Free can also be used as an AUV3 plugin in compatible hosts. For example, GarageBand. Bruce Free means. So there you go, guys. There are four apps that are just absolutely incredible for controlling, shaping, EQing. But without it being all like kind of like too much here and too much there, the DDM FEQ is based on a, an old piece of Neve software. But it, it is a beautiful thing. You don't like need to go mad. There, you know, there are no presets. You just do your thing. Like I said, you want a bit of top. It's great on a mastering chain. So if you were if you were using it to master, and then don't forget you have um, Maxima there, which is will just boost your mix beautifully without calling it in, um, like a, like some compressors will color things in sort of thing. Will make you get sort of it would make it sound like the sound of something. Again, uh, with this one you have the incredible transients, which is so useful for so many things for drums basses that ring it's great on acoustic drums or if you've got like an old if you've got like old recording of acoustic drums and you've got a lot of ring in the bass drum it doesn't it what it basically does it calms down anything that's kind of ringing it's very difficult to explain but i mean it doesn't matter because it does what it does very 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 well and then again the amazing bruce bruce free from clev grand which i think is just just an ep i haven't got on there now have i but it's an epic thing you just select a little bit of the part of the file that you don't that you want to reduce let it hit hear it for a couple of seconds and then that noise is gone it's just awesome and then to save on your cpu just just freeze your track okay guys uh yep uh, there'll be links for the all uh, all these apps in the description below if you want to check them out i get if you want to buy them i get a small commission from apple um like the video subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patron as well that's cool beans and i will see you guys later